search engines in the notion of our usual computer users are not older than um, maybe 14, 15 years. However, um, search engines like um, processors of information, distributors of information, gatherers of information are much, much older. They are as long as history goes back. My thesis is that um, the classical servant, the servant of the ancient times, um, they all act like search engines. Jeeves is not a totally innocent name, it's uh, borrowed from um, a character from literature and um, there are lots of implications um, connected uh, to this character uh, because this is um, a representative of a classical butler. And why is a search engine baptized uh, with the name of a butler? This was my initial question and I trace it back to um, the um, the whole context of a butler around 1900 or in the 20, early 20th century in England and what are his functions, uh, what, uh, how did he act like and things like that. And then I tried to combine it um, with the usual functions of search engines and um, um, I think I um, arrived at some um, uh, things they have in common. Well, the interesting thing about servants um, is that um, they follow a specific paradox. Um, although they are there in presence, um, they should act like uh, being not present. Uh, so they, they always have to deal with this um, paradox situation um, that um, they should be attentive and not be attentive. Uh, how could you do this? Uh, um, well, you have a body um, as a classical servant and you uh, have to be in the room in order to follow your functions. Um, but at the same time, uh, you should close your eyes and close your ears and not to hear any kind of comments uh, which are uttered in the room. Uh, but at the same time, you have to listen to the commands which are given to you. Uh, so this is um, the fundamental paradox every servant has to deal with. The thing is that um, of course, every servant uh, has his or her ears wide open all the time and listens to everything which is said in the room. Uh, even the most, um, the best kept secrets, they are able listen to, uh, to listen to. And um, this naturally evokes um, this paranoia that um, every servant always is very um, much interested and very eager to learn the news which are not supposed uh, to be known by him. And um, this kind of paranoia can only be solved if uh, these humanoid, humanoid devices, the classical servant figure, um, um, are replaced by um, technical media like the dumb waiter. Uh, so this is a strategy of the, um, of the upper class, of the masters, to uh, control their information, to delegate their information processing um, to um, other media, to other devices, which are um, more trustful, maybe, uh, because uh, the wood, um, which a dumb waiter is made of, um, usually is not so eloquent to transfer your secrets.